So today I'm back with another Chanel oriented video. Today I'm going to be talking about the Chanel Vita Lumiere Aqua Foundation. Um, I got a couple comments from my previous videos. Um, I forgot her name, but she like specifically requested um, that I kind of explain the difference between shades in Vita Lumiere Aqua and like the color range. And today I just kind of wanted to go over that. So first of all, um, I feel like Chanel Vita Lumiere Aqua is kind of it. Actually, it is. I believe it's our best selling foundation um, because it literally looks like a second skin it looks like a perfected skin it doesn't look too cakey it gives the skin the perfect amount of luminosity and it's very easy to wear um, however it only actually comes in 10 shades so a lot of brands what they'll do is when they first launch a foundation they'll just end up launching like you know a few shades um, with pretty low color range and I feel like Chanel unfortunately is pretty guilty of that um, there are only 10 shades uh, five shades of which are beige shades and the other five are beige rosés or beige rose so for the foundations anything that ends with a 10 20 30 40 or 50 basically anything that ends with a zero is going to be beige so it's gonna be more of like a neutral to yellow tone and anything that ends with a 2, like a 12, 22, 32, 42, 52, numbers like that, um, it means it's a rose tone. So it has more of like a pink, it has a little bit of red in it, so it's going to be complimentary for those who have like more of like a pinky or a red undertone. And the beiges are going to be more suited for those with a neutral to yellow undertone. They are water-based foundations and it's going to give your skin a luminosity. So if you are super oily, you still can use it, but just keep in mind, it's meant to give you a dewy look. Honestly, I don't find it too overwhelming when I wear it, though I don't ever reach for it if that kind of clears things up. Um, what else is there that you guys need to know? It does have an SPF of 15, so it does give you some sun protection. Um, some people don't mind it, some people want a little more. It's pretty much all up to you. Um, if you want a little more SPF, Chanel does offer um, its own um, sunscreen that you can always use and mix in with your uh, foundations. Yeah, so yeah, if your main skin concern is hydration, then this foundation is going to be great for you. So I actually have all 10 of them here so I can help swatch for you guys. I have them just because it's honestly perfect for freelancing. Um, this foundation is one of the most, by far, most flattering. It, um, it flatters the most amount of skin, not skin tones, but... It, this foundation flatters the most amount of skin textures and most amount of ages so this would be great for a girl who is just starting off with makeup because it is a light to medium coverage but the thing about all foundations from Chanel is that it is definitely buildable so personally as a makeup artist I know you know certain tricks that I can help build it up to actually a full coverage so this foundation as long as you know as well as all the other ones are definitely um, buildable but overall, in essence, the way it's formulated and the way it comes straight out of the bottle, it is a sheer to medium. So it would be great for those who have um, mature skin where you're more concerned about your fine lines and your wrinkles and you don't want anything too cakey that's going to settle on your fine lines. You don't want any emphasis on it. This foundation would be perfect for you because it's pretty much like a second skin. It's just going to help perfect, but it's still going to cover. But at the same time, it's not drying and it's not going to settle into your fine lines. This would also be great for those who are younger, like the younger girls who are just starting to wear makeup and um they're looking for a foundation but they don't want anything too overwhelming this would be perfect for them so this is what the packaging looks like it is a tan bottle with a black top um it is one of the ones where you have to shake it has like a little um you know you can hear it but it comes like it has like a little ball in there and it kind of helps you distribute the product because this product does separate um so you have to make sure you shake it before you use it and it when you open it it just has a little spout just like that and you kind of just dump it onto your hands so um yeah i guess we'll just get into the swatches so the way that i had planned to do this was that i would swatch like a beige with its um counterpart so i would do a 10 and then i would do a 12 right next to it so you guys can kind of see the difference and then i would do 20 and then a 22 a 30 32 40 42 and 50 and 52 so you guys can kind of see the color range and the difference in the nuances of the foundations and then afterwards i'm going to swatch them all kind of um on my arm so you can kind of see the difference in color range just for reference i use a shade 20 20 beige um, and that is the same for the Perfection Lumia Velvet and the Laton and everything. Pretty much 20 related, it's my color. So just for reference, if you're kind of um, wondering where you kind of lie on the spectrum, 
you can use me for reference. I am a number 20. Okay, so the first one is 10 beige and 12 beige rosé. So beige is on the left, rosé is on the right. And as you can see, the rosé has more of a pink tone and the beige has more of a yellow tone. Next is 20 beige and 22 beige rosé. And then we have 30 beige and 30 beige rosé. This one is a 40 beige on the left and 42 beige rosé on the right. And then this one is a 50 beige on the left and 52 beige rosé on the right. And then I have them all in a row. The top row is the beiges and the bottom row is the beige rosés. So I hope you guys found the swatches helpful. I know you can always like Google the images, but it's nothing, it's not the same as looking at it like in real time on camera because cameras don't lie, well they're not meant to. And um, I'm actually shooting in natural daylight. I always shoot in natural daylight when I, um, like most of the time I shoot in natural daylight. So these swatches, um, are as true to color as they could possibly be so and I just really wanted to let you guys see the difference between the beiges and the beige rosé um, and but honestly the best thing you can possibly do is just to come to the counter or go in store and just get color matched um, and that way you can see what you're comfortable with and you can see what you really like because you might look at these swatches and tell yourself well oh i'm like obviously a 22 beige rosé but you might go in and who knows you might be more of like a beige or you might think you're a beige and end up being a beige rosé even with someone with like more of a yellow tone the pink tones might actually help brighten up your face a little bit which you know it's all about playing with color because everybody's skin is different like even though like for example me and my coworker, we both use a shade 20 beige but it looks pretty much different on both of us so yeah i hope you guys found this video helpful i know it was kind of like brief but yeah if you have any questions or comments feel free to comment down below message me um text me i actually did have a couple text messages these past couple weeks and honestly it was pretty cool so yeah feel free to just text me down below um it's super safe like I'm not gonna get your information or anything I can't harass you um, that's not even like my real cell phone number it's an app that um, I download through Nordstrom and they just have the text messages that you send to get filtered through there so that way both of us are protected and I don't have to get your information unless you want me to so you know it's a completely safe method of communication if you want like a more personal um, tie line to me yeah feel free to text me I will always respond so yeah with that being said I hope you guys found this video helpful um, subscribe if you haven't already give this video a thumbs up and I will see you guys again next time bye